I'm very, very excited. I can hardly contain myself. I'm out and about down Argyle and Bew. I've taken a day off because I've had a bit of a week. But I've, I've got news for you. I'm down the Loch Goyle Head. You can see Carrick Castle behind me. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he's, uh, he's soldiering on with that backpack of his and he's managed to get a dial in, but it's not that. It's more exciting than that. Can you hear another pair of shoes? There's somebody inside of me. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a week. And uh, you know when everything's sailing along quite nicely and what's normal just gets turned on its head? Well, that's been one of these weeks. So I've had enough of it, to be honest. And I said to Mrs. Boardman, I says, I'm going for a camp. I need to get some fresh air in my lungs and have a bit of a reset. And then I says, do you want to come with me? And guess what she said? Go on then. So I'm about down Loch Goyle Head this evening with Mrs. Boardman and we've got the Abisco Light 2 which may be a little bit too snug for us so I've actually brought little Jack with me as well just in case I've got a backup and just so we're not cuddled up inside this tent pushing, pushing the boundaries of domestic differences I've also brought the tarp as well, so we can um, spend a little bit of time outside, having something to eat, some husband and wife chatter, relaxing, disposing of this week, because this week should be disposed of, having a reset. Are you enjoying yourself, Mrs. Bobman? I am, yes. Yeah. Everything's good. For those of you who were listening carefully then, you'll have heard me say the Abisco Light 2 and Little Jack, which clearly means over two months now since I ordered the Dan Durst and X Mid Pro 1 and it's still not arrived. So I paid for that shelter, that tent back in January and everything was going fine, tracking was tracking and then as you know it went missing and I contacted Durst and Gear to have a chat with them about it and they kept saying we'll just wait a little longer, there's been a problem with Royal Mail tracking they're starting to turn up in the UK so I waited a week then I waited another week then another week and it was becoming really difficult to kind of persuade them to send me a, another tent you know so it got to the stage where I said look I said I need a new tent sending a replacement tent sending or a refund I waited another week and we're still waiting now, there's still no tent arrived. However, Durst and Gear have actually reposted another tent and I'm expecting that in two weeks time. So, around about nine or ten weeks since I paid for the shelter. And you know me, auction man, so it's painful. And still no shelter, still no tent. Right, we're all pitched up and the good news is, well it appears Sorry, it appears that the good news is that we can both quite comfortably s stay in the Abisco Light 2, which I'm going to show you around in a few minutes. I've also got the tarp up in a Lee 2 formation, but it's just to keep the wind off. There are a couple of showers kicking around, but um, nothing at the moment, so everything's good. And Mrs. Bobman's carried away with the seals. She's trying to photograph them now. So the, um, the tarp is a new tarp. I've gone for the, the super lightweight one from DD Hammocks, the other one was okay but I do want to use it more often and take it with my tent so I just need to manage the weight and I call it, well Tim, you've seen Tim on my videos, he recommended this so I've splashed out on this. I've also decided that I'm going to buy some, I bought some carbon poles for it as well which fold right down small again because the plan is that if I use the Durston X Mid I'm going to require both trekking poles for that, so I need some poles if I'm going to take the tarp as well, which I do fancy doing. It, again, like this, it adds a bit of shelter and 
It just means you can just stay outside a little bit longer. Right, time for a beer, I think. Mrs. Baldwin's fascinated by the seal. Cheers. Right, I've um, I've disposed of the lean to tarp now, and I've moved to our favourite, the Gunya, which is just offering us a little bit more protection. Although Mrs. Baldwin's having a bit of a problem <laughs> sitting on my stool. I think she's going to pop floor, which is probably far more comfortable. Right, we're in this tent now, we're relaxing, and uh, we've had this tea and had something to drink, and we're just. I'm watching some YouTube videos on tents because that's what I do when I'm on camp. And Mrs. Baldwin is looking at pufflings, young pufflings. We haven't seen puffins yet, have we? Yeah. You'd see go see puffins. So a wonderful um, a time lapse this afternoon as he as it got dark. It was really good, and I just left the camera out for as long as I possibly could this afternoon sort of like blowing a whole GoPro battery on the on the thing and got over a, a minute of time lapse on five seconds and it is very very dynamic and a fantastic sky I hope you agree you'll also see that Andrew Park recommended one of these little candles so I went and bought one and they do offer quite a lot to uh, to the experience not least the ambience but it does warm the tent up a little bit so I'm quite enjoying it really so far. I've only knocked it over once as you can see there's a bit of wax on the glass um, and I've managed to knock over a tin of tents as well so that's not gone so well. So there's been a bit of cushing going on. But I'm having a glass of red now, a cup of red and um, that's my cup. I've got a cup from Col. So everything's going well so I'm going to drop this tarp now because uh, I don't want it rattling in the wind and we'll uh, pack up and have a, a sleep so i'll see you out there when i pack this tarp up i'm going to leave the tarp up but what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to pull it one of the sides down on the gunyan and make it to a teepee and that'll make it quite strong and it'll stay up overnight it's a good idea i'm glad i thought of it yeah thank you very much see you in the morning good morning i'm not sure what time it is probably around about eight o'clock or something like that that was a good night both mrs bobman and myself slept very soundly i woke about four or five times but that was just to the rainfall because it absolutely bucketed down with rain last night and uh, i've just been over into a woodland over there to get some water and uh, it's in spate it's absolutely blasting down the hillside but a restful night if not feeling a bit groggy this morning but i'm gonna i've got a coffee made so i'm gonna have a cup of coffee now and i can hear mrs boardman rousing so i think we'll be soon having breakfast sausage sandwiches for breakfast nothing but the best right that's us had breakfast and uh, a lovely breakfast it was i'm a porridge man in the morning but mrs Bondman likes a sausage sausages we <laughs> so sausages we had and um and they were very very tasty too it's nice every now and then to bring the the frying pan so all washed up so it's just a case it's the, the rain's on again now so it's just a case of dropping this tent getting anything packed up i'll leave the tarp up for now so we can bail for cover just in case the the rain comes on again and um, and then we'll pick this up just as we're leaving camp a good night a good night do you have a good night good night okay that's us done all packed up now and probably about a mile and a half or something like that back to the car rain's just come on which is a, a bit disappointing but at least we got packed up whilst it was dry and once we're onto the path, we get, we get a bit of shelter from the tree. So, all good. Lovely to have Mrs. Baldwin out with me last night. Brilliant test for the uh, Abisko Light 2 as well. It really is a good quality two-person tent. There's plenty of room in there for two people. I'm probably with the wider pads. So, that's, uh, that's really good news. 
Right, we're going to get on this track now and get back to the car and then we'll wrap this up. A couple hundred yards away from the car now, so I'm going to pack this up. It's been fantastic to have you along and fantastic to have Mrs. Bowman along and it was uh, a great camp, even if I did wake up a bit groggy this morning, but good to have you along. Don't forget, we always like us thumbsies ups. See you again next time, maybe with Mrs. Bowman.